Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 1220 Cooking UK. Uh, I'm Izzo and today I'm going to debunk something. Um, bruschetta. What is bruschetta? It is not what you think it is. So traditional bruschetta is literally just sliced bread, toasted or it's stale, some garlic rubbed on it, and good olive oil and some salt, that's it. The one that you think you're having is bruschetta al pomodoro. In this one, I'm gonna show you both. Uh, it's a very, very simple dish. It can be a starter, it can be a snack. Um, and it's all based on how good your ingredients are. Um, it's a way to taste good olive oil, it's a way to have good salt, good bread, um, so it's very, very simple, but when done right and when you have the right ingredients can be absolutely delicious. So let's start. Let's look at what we have. So for traditional bruschetta, we have bread. I'm, I'm using this sourdough bread, but you can use lots of different types of bread. Not, uh, not uh, baguette. Baguette is just wrong for it. Um, but make sure you can slice your bread longwise so you have a good surface for your uh, tomatoes then very good extra virgin olive oil mine's luckily straight from italy uh, good salt i used uh, iodized salt um, i don't use this for cooking i use this for when i know i'm gonna have um, the salt not cooked so in this occasion i have oregano because what is life without oregano and I have uh, two cloves of garlic um, that I will show you how to use that later. And because I'm going to do both bruschette normale and bruschette al pomodoro, um, I've got some tomatoes as well. So we start off, slice this uh, quarter of bread so I can make uh, some traditional and some tomato bruschette. using the end I'm gonna save this for another dish so now I need to toast this bread so I'll be back when everything's toasted and I am back so I've toasted all my bread and it's you can hear it it's not too toasted but um, it's dried out basically and I've got now my serving board where I'm going to serve everything and let's lay these out and create a little production line so in the meantime while my bread was toasting I have peeled my garlic but I've kept the root of the garlic on this is important because we'll hold your garlic together for the next thing we need to do and what we need to do next is to take this garlic and rub it on your bread, both sides if you're feeling extra garlicky. And yeah, so you just rub it on. Don't know if you can hear that. I'm putting it on both sides because we like garlic in this household. I'm going to do one close up so you can see it and hear it. You can see it's shining. And then the other side. There we go. And if you were doing just traditional bruschette, bruschetta one, bruschette two. Then we put some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, good quality. And a little 
your nice ooh, drizzle on top. If you've put too much, don't worry, just pass it on to the next one. And then some salt. And this is a bruschetta. Nice. If you want to do bruschetta al pomodoro, then you need to add a step. You need to add the pomodoro, which is tomatoes. So I've got my bowl ready. Get a nice serrated knife. Easier to cut the tomatoes. And I like to cut them in half, straight into the bowl. Okay, so you saw that I cut up all the tomatoes in half. They're small tomatoes. The reason I'm using uh, baby tomatoes is because they're sweeter. They give a bit more flavor. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is salt them. Um, the reason why I put salt first is because it extracts um, a bit of the water from the tomato and um, it also increases the flavor. And then... I'm gonna put a nice pinch of origan. I don't have um, fresh basil. If I did, uh, I would add that as well, ripped up, but it's optional. If you have oregano, you have already a lot of flavor. So I'm putting two good pinches because we love oregano in this family. then good extra virgin olive oil i always say good i mean you need to you need to invest in olive oil it, may, it makes a big difference um, especially if you're eating it raw which means in a salad on top of some meat you're making a salsa verde or some uh, you know you, you need to invest in good extra virgin olive oil And if you like at this stage, you can add extra garlic chopped up. Um, I've already spread it on my bread, um, so I'm not going to add it at this point. And I'm going to stir up. Let's taste it. More salt. And what I'd like to do now at this stage is to leave it for a few moments because the salt is going to draw out some of that tomato liquid. And you can put the tomatoes that are a little bit um, less juicy on top of the bread. And then spoon that beautiful uh, liquid that's left over that's got lots of flavor. So I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and then I'll show you the plating up. So it's been a few minutes and a lot of juice from the bottom. Uh, you can see the tomato has uh, flavored. And what we do now is easy. We put the tomatoes on the bread. and let the bread absorb that flavor. It's a bit of a messy eating, but it's good eating. I remember um, my mum used to make this as an after school snack. She would uh, get some toasted bread cut all these little baby tomatoes in half, uh, salt them, and then she just put them on and squeeze them onto the bread so that the bread would absorb the flavor. And um, that was absolutely delicious. And probably one of the reasons why I still love bruschetta al pomodoro.
to this day. You don't need to overload the, the bread because we have leftover, so you can always add it back on or eat it separately. And if you have leftover tomatoes, it's not a problem. It's a delicious side dish, so don't waste anything. I'm going to top this off with some more olive oil. And then I'm going to add olive oil to my traditional bruschette. And add a little bit of salt to my traditional bruschette. And a little bit on top of here. And we're done. Remember guys, uh, cook with love and if you enjoyed the video, if you liked the fact that I told you what a real bruschetta was, uh, then please like and subscribe and yeah, support a small channel. Thank you very much. And when you're ready to eat, just put some of those lovely juices on top and enjoy.